A flightless bird can never be free. It is forever destined to be caged on the ground. It will never have wings with which to fly. I am such a flightless bird, crushed by the weight of my very own existence, crushed by my very love for him. Flames of passion engulf my heart as though all that remains are burnt embers scattering across a dry and barren land. Emptiness echoing deep into the dark night. This is the haunting ghost of love, an intangible mark against what I fear are my fading memories, leaving me as an empty shell ravaged by the elements in that desolate landscape of what I've been told and have come to realise as my obsession. It dominates every waking moment and it is the only thing that seems to matter. Between these pages are my confessions of what began innocently enough. At first, it would just be a prank call here and there, but it quickly escalated to what most people call stalking. Today, I followed him again, watching him from afar. I think I got too comfortable, because this time, he caught me. What are you doing here? Are you following me? He says to me. I miss you. I wanted to see you again, I said. I told you, Mim. I don't want to see you ever again, he says back to me. But I miss you. I still love you, I said. Leave me alone, he shouted. Emotions are not like buttons that can be turned on or off. For better or worse, they are there and have to run their course. Just as a gentle stream, they will float across this canvas of consciousness against this juxtaposition of time and space we call life. The nature of obsession is not just a matter of feelings passing as a stream. Obsession is entanglement, like a knotted skein of yarn, where the harder you pull to detangle it, the tighter the knots become. It is in the understanding of the origins of these knots which loosens an obsession and not an understanding of the knots themselves. I realise now that I had extolled him in my mind, making him appear perfect, making him appear to be something I needed and couldn't live without. Just as a mirage in the desert, it never existed. He was never perfect. He didn't love me back. I don't need him to be happy. Finally, I am free. Free from obsession and free to be me.